Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm at Santa Monica Beach. Whenever I'm out here, I'm like, I gotta film. Right by the pier where I filmed on the first day I came to LA, well, first full day here, uh, when I filmed with Nathan Barnett, drunkest guy ever. Um, I was just at a screening of the movie I worked on, A Stark Reality, first movie I worked on in LA. Uh, they actually had my name up in the credits for starring. I was a little surprised by that, but that was cool. It's a good film. We got cheers afterward. Uh, very touching film. If it's online at some point, I'll make sure everybody knows. And there were some other short films as well. All great achievements. All things you can learn from. And I like that in short films, people are a lot more daring than they are in features. I saw stuff I don't see. You know, whether it sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't. But it doesn't matter. It's like as long as you're trying, it's you see much more interesting and daring stuff than you ever see in features or almost ever see. Nocturnal Animals. What's that? Tom Ford. John Ford? No, Tom Ford directed it, right? Uh, so while I'm out here, it's like a 30-mile drive back to the area I normally sleep at. Although I wonder where around... Well, no, I wouldn't want to sleep around here because the traffic... It's not bad now. It's really not bad at all. But it can be horrendous here because there's nowhere to go. Nowhere to retreat to. And by the way, okay, what's... Uh, I gotta ask about this. How come there's so many good-looking people at the beach here? And you can tell they got money. They're all dressed well. Men, women, even the dogs they're walking. There's some sexy dogs out here. What is that? What, how do they, where do they disappear to when they leave here? How come they're never around? I mean, it's, I don't know. It's like rich people, good looking people get all the money, don't they? They're, I mean, there's nothing wrong with anybody looking anyway. Everybody's good looking in their own way. What I'm saying is very conventionally good looking, like, you know, cheekbones. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so much weight. You can't even see my cheekbones. Um, you know what I'm saying? They're like dressed very like fashionably and the guy's bodies are all blasted and stuff and man, I've been working out almost every day for like 10 months and still not getting there. But you know, I'm not training for that either. Right? If I was training deliberately for that, I'm sure it would be a lot different. I'm just kind of going in there, hitting everything and uh, getting out. Not really worrying about my nutrition too much. But yeah, what is that? Every Good looking around here? Do they realize that? Do they realize like, oh, if you're good looking, you get money. Like, you just get to live how you want. What is that? Or if you're good looking, your, your parents give you money or something? What the hell is that? Anyways. Sun's about to go down. I was hanging out before I had some food. Um, man, it's cool here. That's a nice thing. In the valley, meaning Burbank, that whole area, basically. Um, oh my goodness, it was horrendously hot. It, it was like a toaster oven, basically. Uh, I barely slept last night. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe I've got to do my satanic meditations better. If you didn't see my video about Satanism, uh, why not? Uh, Satan compels you. Um, by the way, okay, takeaway from that video is Satanism is kind of a nothing. It's nothing, it's nothing to be scared of. It's no big, it's a club. I gotta get away from this music. It's just a, like a club for some people to be in. They kind of, you know, dress up and act up. That's fucking it. It's not a big deal. What I like about it is that it bothers Christians so much. But it's nothing. I would never join it. It's not for me. I just have uh, some cool things to know about it. And that's it. It's cool things about... Whatever. Lots of things. But I, I can never be in a group. Only group I'll ever be in maybe is Director's Guild, if I get in there. Or maybe Writer's Guild as well. Or Actor's Guild. I mean, that's just for work, so. Starting to see the contrast better with the lights behind. But uh, last night I didn't sleep well. I don't know what it was. If I sleep one night, well one night, the next night I can't sleep well. So I had all this energy, could not sleep. Horribly, like... I tried not to get sand in my shoes and it just keeps getting in there. Oh well, I can dump it out. My shoes got a bunch of holes in them too. I had them for like four years. I, I couldn't sleep, I slept like three or four hours, but here's the thing, I was so amped up, I'm not even tired today. So I got to the gym way earlier than I normally do. I got there by like seven or so. I just could not rest and I was drinking so much fucking water, I must have drank at least a gallon. It was Moist Angelo that night. 
last night and then releasing and then I was dehydrating over a gallon it was absurd it was insane like I, I want to sue my own body and I was having these weird sort of hallucinations fever dreams that uh because you know I was watching Joe Biden's bizarre performance at the Democratic debates record player kids got to watch their TV and a question about reparations for slavery he somehow got into how social workers need to be in homes and by then I totally forgot what the question was and then got in in his scary eyes and then got into uh, I feel bad for I mean the guy he's like losing it and it, so he says uh, we need social workers in homes kids need to watch television pardon me uh, have have the record player playing at night so they can hear more words because poor kids hear four million less words than rich kids do <laughs> what the fuck by then I hey well masterful pivot because I had completely forgotten what the question was um, but that was kind of disturbing me too it was in my mind see I get very obsessive about anything that's in me throughout the day uh, and um, anyway so somehow I was dreaming like that was like there was some liberal water as opposed to leftist water like liberal water that was sitting there in front of me and it was spilling and uh, anyways no matter how much I drink it's like what the hell it's like a battery that won't keep a charge I gotta go to a doctor at some point and figure it out today hasn't been so bad since I actually ate but I am going through water way too fast during the movie today I drank a bunch of water I mean the movies the block of short films and I um, I got up to go to the bathroom like twice during the movie went once right before and then once right afterwards so four times total and then I went a fifth time out here by the beach what the fuck is going on now part of it yesterday I, or today I was feeling so faint in the gym too I was like man I gotta eat more and I gotta eat actual food not just these Lara bars which are good but it's like dates and almonds or whatever and it's like just two ingredients that's what they say no preservatives apparently nothing just or, or there's other ones where it's like dates uh, walnuts and then peanut butter or so, something else out in there and then sometimes they had, they had a cookie dough one I had one of those but also peanut butter chocolate so and that has sea salt in it too I was thinking oh that was one thing I was like man I gotta eat some salt I've been drinking so much water it's like my body's all fluids and then I was feeling like so lightheaded at the gym I was like man I gotta eat a real meal I went to a cafe afterwards this it's funny how cafes how do they attract these kinds of people you go to any diner not a cafe a diner really and it's just the same people the same kind of big white people you see all over the country I've seen them in North Carolina I've seen them in Atlanta I see them around in Virginia the same big white people everywhere at these diners like like a typical stereotypical truck stop diner I had a big omelet with mushrooms onions spinach in it I had tomatoes with it I had four two pieces of toast cut up into four because I was like man I got to eat a real meal and then I had a chicken shawarma after the movie today so I'm spending too much money um, man what the hell is going on with me I'm eating two small meals I'm still gaining weight a lot of times so it's like heavy calories but the food's too small moist Andy help me out what's going on what do I have to do Get, come up with a meal plan for me well that's not too expensive while I'm homeless that's a thing because like I'll eat one of these Lara bars that are like 200 calories or 210 calories but it's like a little like Mars bar size like this big it's it's like one one and three-fourths noses uh, Angelo so I mean that don't get me wrong that's heavy duty that's a lot right there but I like I, I, what is it I'm pass like I'm nearly passing out like I'm and I'm still kind of gaining I don't know I'm gaining weight losing weight hovering around there but here's another thing I've noticed when I was at home it was much easier to go without eating food when I started for instance um, and I could starve myself and lose weight when I would drive a lot I would get so fatigued driving I don't know what it was it wasn't necessarily the temperature because it was cold when I was driving too but when I tried to do that sales uh, insurance life insurance job I did for 10 days I think I'm still paying that off every month the debt I had from that um, I spent a lot more than that too uh, I would think oh, okay I'm doing myself a favor saving money on food by not eating out and I'm just gonna starve myself well hell two-thirds of the way through the day I was desperate to eat I was damn near passed out 
So what is that? If you're in your car, you just get more exhausted or you're mentally drained because you're focusing and you're getting fatigued. What is that? I don't understand that. So anyways, it's tough because like I work out hard, I run and everything, and yet it seems like I have to keep up a lot of calories just to one, not have water running through me uh, every 15 minutes, but two, um, to not feel like I'm going to pass out. So, I don't get it. Uh, I mean, I probably did burn much less calories while I was living in a home. Even when I was exercising every day, I didn't exercise nearly as hard as I do now. When I'm at the gym, I'm pretty much just all focused, trying to hit everything. Lately, I've been trying to hit everything harder and harder, squeeze out the last three to five reps when I don't think I can do anymore. It's good. Um, good exercise. But, of course, you don't lift weights to lose weight. You eat to lose weight because you're never going to make up that deficit. I mean, unless you're working out three, four hours a day, but that's, few people can do that. That's, I mean, I, I don't know many people who could just genetically cannot do, your body will wear out um, before you do that. Or you're not working out hard enough if you can do that. Uh, there's a Santa Monica Pier behind me. So, I gotta figure out my diet. What's I gotta consult my satanic physician, my satanic. But oh, the other thing I want to say about Church of Satan and stuff. Like, it's a nothing topic. Like, I, I think it's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool, but a lot of it's just these corny, spooky shit. And like, it's like Halloween every day for some of those people. But um, and, and they imagine themselves to be like the masters of the world, masters of society. Ah, come on, don't be so full of yourselves. Uh, but um, what I was looking up to, I'm much more aligned with it. Watch the documentary Hail Satan. It's about the Satanic Temple. That is very different from the Church of Satan. Church of Satan's all about like the ego and you being your own god. The Satanic Temple, it's basically a social justice group that uses Satanism as a symbol for rebellion and, and wisdom and compassion and life. So they're much more oriented towards compassion and helping people. I read that they offered after one like uh, attack, it's, it's a shame, you can't even keep track of how many attacks on Muslims there are. Uh, all this nonsense about, oh, we were unified after 9-11, bullshit. Yeah, oh, every, every criticism of racism in America is taken as an attack on America, America because racism is so integral to America's founding. So if you criticize the fact that there were plenty of bigoted people committing hate crimes on Muslims and Sikhs because people can't tell the difference between them, bigots can't tell the difference between them, after 9-11 because we'd been teaching so long that they were, you know, all like they were our enemy, all these bigoted lies about them. Um, uh, you, they can't handle that criticism that the country wasn't unified. It's only unified if you keep pretending people of color aren't human or aren't part of America. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, Satanic Temple. So after apparently one attack on a mosque, the Satanic Temple put out a message saying our, if Muslims feel unsafe going about going to the mosque or even going to the grocery store will escort you there and that's really cool because it's again it's not a, like they're not all about fucking with people they do some of that but they do it like with the temple in um not the temple the baphomet statue which they wanted to put up next to the ten commandments um sculpture or whatever in uh arkansas i think lucian greaves the guy who runs it now he's got okay that's like a morbid name but he uses the name because he doesn't want his family getting threats. That's a fake name. It's not his real name. A lot of people in the te Satanic Temple do that. Again, I can never join any group just because once I'm in a group, I realize I don't want to be in a group. Even if it's something I totally, you know, support, like environmentalism. It's nothing against any group. I just realize I, I work better doing my own thing at my own tempo. But Satanic Temple's cool because they are engaged in, like, just helping others they they want to make programs for like kids um to get like I, I forget what it was educated or something just teach them in science or whatever they also believe like the church say that they're atheists basically there is no god there's no devil satan's just a cool like a symbol of rebellion especially after milton uh wrote about him and wrote about this character who was like you know trying to l liberate others and liberate himself i guess i haven't read read uh, paradise law or Dante's Inferno, whoever, whatever. So anyways, 
Yeah, that's a, a, a more, but see, again, I don't endorse groups. Like, I try not to give endorsements to anything because that's not what I am. That's not who I am. I'll endorse a movie. That's it. Uh, in my videos, my YouTube channel. But, um, yeah, Satanic Temple, they're more in line with, like, what I'm about. Uh, but I don't even like saying that because, again, I'm not part of a group. But I'd say, like, they give, them, they give the movie Hail Satan a look. I haven't seen it. I saw the trailer. But it looks like a funny trailer because they're kind of, like, they're using this dark imagery basically to party and to just make a point about separation of church and state and how Christians are, are theocrats in this country. They're fascists who want Christian supremacy, which is entwined with white supremacy in this country. Wow. We've seen the passage of time now. It go from day to night on this beach. Hopefully the big, every time I'm at Santa Monica, I think hopefully the big one doesn't hit. The big earthquake they talk about that is inevitable for California because everything up to the five will be destroyed. Terrifying time. Uh, but it's very cool being out here. So oh, big that you can't even tell on camera. So uh, yeah, it nicks on the Church of Satan, a pox on them, and uh, not really. But I like that stuff about magic spells. Get the what a joke. If you, Anton LaVey said, like, if you, you know, use these spells and get benefit from them, but then you don't believe in them, you will lose all your power. Well, what the fuck are you talking about? Because you're supposedly a skeptic, an atheist. Um, what is all this? Just like an act for you to say that um, about magic? And he said some vile, bigoted things as well. So, um, yeah, uh, Satanic Temple. They're, they're fun. That's all to say. They're fun. You know, sometimes I forget all the other movies I've worked on now and a music video, they're going to come out at some point. So, hopefully I get to see all of them. Well, this is fun. I could film for a while, but it's weird how I don't even feel tired. And now i got to go edit this video because I know my phone broke it up into segments because it's long enough to where it won't keep it all in one file. Anyways, this is a, to me, it's a place I want to live the rest of my life, in Los Angeles. Um, it's the best city in the world, I think, even though I haven't been to that many cities. Uh, it's the only place I want to be. It's still weird to think I'm here, and all the people who used to be so far away are here. I gotta lose weight. Hey, Pete, just throw out your advice for a meal plan or whatever. I gotta do, I am not counting calories. That is a pain in the end. Let me do some paperwork. Let me do some taxes. Ching, 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 ching. On the adding machine. I am not doing that. Just, I don't know, if you've got any weight loss tips. And the thing is, I know them. Everybody knows them. Less calories in, or wait, uh, yeah. Less, uh, few, less calories in, more calories burned. That's all, create a calorie deficit. Um, it helps to be a little more active too. I am pretty active now. I mean, I work out about an hour a day, but still, that's not really intense calorie burning. That's mostly weightlifting. So I'm maybe I burn a few hundred, but a few hundred, 200 are in a Lara bar. So right there, that's like, if, even if I burn 300 calories in an hour, that's one little Lara bar I burned off. In an hour of lifting weights. So I gotta think of either ways to both be more active and eat lower calorie, less calorie dense foods. One thing that's great, salads. Um, I try that, you know, whenever I can, which is almost every day now because at the food bank, they have salads almost every day. So every day I'll go there and I'll get a salad and eat the whole thing to make myself feel full. Um, and I'll have little tacos, like tiny little tacos they have there with, uh, um, little vegetables on them and rice and beans but I think that some maybe that's not enough protein or something maybe that's too few calories I don't know because a lot of times I'll still feel lightheaded and um, like tired and and just kind of you know like needing to 
uh, go to the bathroom more because I'm, I gotta drink uh, so much water and then, uh, I don't know. It's weird, something about this water issue. Problem for me. I'm surprised I haven't drank this whole video yet. Now it's getting fairly dark. The sun's going down there. Kind of don't want to stop filming. I gotta work on more scripts. Nutshell technique. Jill Chamberlain. I gotta get that book. I went to her, I mentioned I went to her workshop the other day. That was really good. In like five minutes, she was just able to like snap through um, my little like, uh, you know, few points about my screenplay. I even like that word screenplay. It's like a throwback, you know, like teleplay. Like it's not just a script, it's a screenplay. Like it's a script, but for the screen. All right, I'm just ranting now. See if you can see that ship. Yep, you can. In the ocean. I gotta shoot a movie on this. All right, everyone, subscribe. Uh, you know, read your satanic Bibles if you want. Real, I don't care. Who cares? It's nothing. Like it's just fun to talk about because it bothers Christians. Um, and uh, and and because it has such a reputation as ooh spooky, scary. There's nothing really scary about it, other than if you get trapped in a conversation with an annoying Satanist. All right, subscribe, keep liking the videos, share them. I got more coming. I got more ideas for videos, for public access stuff, a lot more. That's it.